Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today is another kind of DIY project um, because I've just been looking at all of my mucking out equipment and it's looking really tired and dirty. So I'm gonna give it a clean and then I'm going to transform it. So obviously Red Gorilla sent me a few items not that long ago um, and I'm just gonna be cleaning them up but I want the rest of my equipment to match that colour so we are going to be spray painting everything um, so that it all matches and it all looks amazing so I'm really excited about this one so let's jump straight into it so I was looking at all of our tools and they're just looking really kind of worn and dirty and I think they could do with a sprucing up so I'm going to keep my um, new ones so my red gorilla blue so because of that I've bought some blue and silver paint so that the rest can match so we're going to start by giving them all a good wash down and scrub them um, ready for being painted so up close you can see the state that the equipment is in it's definitely overdue a spring clean so the first thing that I'm going to do is tackle my barrow because this is the thing I'm looking forward to spray painting the most so I want this to dry the quickest so I was going to use um, the pressure washer or the jet wash whatever you call it um, but as isn't working for some reason I'm not too sure why but we are going to get it fixed or possibly get another one so I had to just use a hose pipe and a bit of elbow grease and just scrub it so I started by just using my normal brush I kind of this is just kind of a cleaning brush um it's just a hard bristle brush that i kind of use to scrub anything down when anything needs cleaning so i went in with that initially and then later on um i did use a sponge and i also went over it with a metal scourer this was just to prep the surface for the paint to adhere to um and i found that any sort of stubborn stains or anything stuck to it um came off really well And so I just did the exact same for all the other equipment. So a lot of what I'm going to be doing today are shavings forks um, because these are really old and dated. So as I wasn't too sure about how much the paint would cover, um, I just washed kind of everything and decided that, you know, when the paint runs out, that's when I'll stop sort of thing. So as well as the shavings fork, I also washed a shovel, a pitchfork, and another shavings fork. So obviously I have two cans of spray paint, so I'm going to be doing some items one colour, some items two colours. So the items that are two colours, I need to masking tape the areas that are going to be the different colour. So I'm going to start with the blue spray paint, so I was just masking any of the areas on this shavings fork that I plan to be silver. and set that up ready to be sprayed. 
so these are the two paints that I'm using I'll link them below for anyone who wants to know exactly what they are and today we are starting with the blue paint so I decided for the shavings fork to paint the handle blue um, and I found it came up really well. I wasn't expecting the colour to be so bright um, and I absolutely love this colour and it's a really, really close match to the things that Red Gorilla sent me. Um, so Red Gorilla or previously known as Tub Trugs, um, that like light blue that they do, this is almost identical to that so I was super happy with that. So I used the shavings fork as a little bit of a tester and then I moved on to the main thing that I'm really excited to spray paint and that is the wheelbarrow. So the wheelbarrow I'm doing two tone, I'm doing the main body blue and then sort of like the legs and handles silver. So I had a lot of area to put masking tape on for the silver bits. Um, I think I went a bit OTT on the masking tape but I just wanted it to be perfect so this did take me a while. And I also covered the wheel up because the wheel, I didn't want to like spray paint that and it'd be really tricky to do that. And then I just went straight in with the paint. So it says to hold the can about 15 to 20 centimetres away because um, if you hold it too close it will drip. So this means that the coverage isn't like amazing on anything plastic. Um, so. I did the interior of the barrow twice which you will see but I again was super happy because obviously it's covering quite a dark shade as well um, and it just came up so well. So as well as the other shavings fork I did, I'm also doing a new one. So one of them is going to have a blue fork part and then a silver handle, which is this one. And then the previous one that I've done a blue handle on will have a silver fork. So they're kind of going to be opposites. So then I left all of the items that I'd spray painted using my blue to dry. And then it was finally time to start unraveling that duct tape and getting ready to use the silver spray paint. So this silver was amazingly metallic, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. I literally went on Amazon and bought the cheapest spray paints I could um, for this little DIY so I wasn't expecting great things and I'm so so pleased with how they turned out. So this is much wetter than the blue, like the blue is an acrylic whereas this one isn't. So this is much wetter so it's a bit more difficult to spray but it is a lot quicker and it was also a lot more opaque. So for the barrow I then obviously had to take off all the masking tape that took me so long to put on um, and taking it off took me even longer and you can just already tell the massive difference between what we started with and what we have now. I am so in love with this colour and I just think the difference it has made is phenomenal. So 
So then once I had covered up all of the sections that we'd already painted and covered up the wheel again, it was time to go in with my silver. I think this is going to give a really, really amazing contrast. Um, the reason I've done this like baby blue and silver is because it absolutely matches the um, things I was sent by Red Gorilla. Just because I want everything to be uniform and to look the same because I think it will just look so much better than having like lots of different colours going on in the stables. So this part was trickier than um, spray pinning any other bits just because it's quite intricate but it did cover really well. And so by this point I'd run out of blue paint that actually ran out quite quickly compared to the silver so I then just did whatever was left in the silver so I had one of the fork handles left to do because I'd painted the base of that um, blue so I did that one and then I had a fork and a shovel left so I just decided to do the entire things in silver and um, they are a little bit crazy and it's a little bit in your face I would have done more blue and more two-tone if I'd had any left um, but that's all I had so I just did them in complete silver And then I just left it all to dry, so the silver did take longer to dry, so I just left it for a couple of hours, um, and then it was dry to the touch, but it does recommend leaving it for 24 hours to harden, so obviously I just unraveled everything once it was sort of dry to the touch, um, but I won't be using it until tomorrow. But the most exciting part is definitely taking all of the masking tape off and finally seeing the finished product, because oh my goodness, it looks so good. So the wheelbarrow was obviously the big thing so taking this off I was super happy that it hadn't smudged or you know there weren't any bits that were silver that were meant to be blue I'd actually done a really good job of covering it up and I was super happy with it. So from what we started with, this is now what we've got. So here we go, this is the finished product. I am so unbelievably happy with how this has turned out. It's turned out so much better than I thought it ever would. Um, I absolutely love this blue colour. If it hadn't run out so quickly, I'd have done a lot more in the blue. Um, so I'm going to order some more and probably do a few other bits in that colour because it is such a nice colour. Um, it's literally perfect. So yeah, I'm so happy with this and the, and the finish from both the sprays is really good. The silver one takes a bit longer to dry um, and it's a lot brighter than I thought but I absolutely love it. I'll pop some links in the description bar of the spray paints that I used. Um, I bought them off Amazon. So you guys can purchase them if you feel like it. Um, I definitely recommend giving this a go, it was really fun and the results are amazing. Okay guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope it's given you some inspiration and ideas for DIYs you can do. Um, it's a perfect time to do this while we're on lockdown. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel because I'd really appreciate it and turn on those post notifications so that you never miss a video. I post every day at 12 apart from Sundays, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.